Times front page for Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The Biden administration will deploy 1,500 active duty troops to the southern U.S. border with Mexico to help deal with an expected wave of illegal immigrants starting next week. Mike Glenn and Stephen Diner report the troops won't be making arrests, but will be assigned to support duties, including bringing more eyes to the border to keep tabs on illegal activity. The goal is to free up Customs and Border Protection personnel to perform their regular duties. Past administrations have generally tapped the National Guard for border duty, but the Pentagon said it is sending active duty troops this time, at least at first. Officials said they hope reservists can be rotated into duty and that the Department of Homeland Security eventually hires contractors to fill the troops' jobs. Two Republican senators claim Secretary of State Antony Blinken lied to Congress when he denied knowing that Hunter Biden held a job on the board of a Ukrainian gas company. Susan Fericcio reports Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson and Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley accused Blinken of providing false testimony to the Senate during a transcribed interview in December 2020. During the testimony, Blinken said he was unaware of any association that Hunter Biden had with Burisma. Emails discovered on Hunter Biden's discarded laptop computer find that Blinken and his wife frequently exchanged messages to connect Blinken with Burisma's U.S. lobbying firm. The State Department did not respond to a request for comment about the accusations. Donald Trump faces political and practical challenges that are raising the hopes of Democrats that the web of legal entanglements will eventually kneecap his 2024 candidacy. National politics supporter Seth McLaughlin reports Trump was yanked out of campaign mode last month when he was forced to travel from his home in Florida to New York for trying to cover up extramarital affairs with hush money payments during his 2016 presidential campaign. Additionally, the Department of Justice is investigating Trump's involvement in the January 6, 2021 riot by his supporters at the U.S. Capitol and his alleged mishandling of classified material after he left office. The jury is out on whether voters will hang with Trump over the long haul or become fatigued and conclude his legal baggage makes him unelectable. You can read all of these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. You can also find the entire lineup of Washington Times podcasts at WashingtonTimes.com slash podcasts. A study has found the proportion of youths and young adults visiting emergency rooms for emotional crises doubled in the previous decade. Sean Salai reports the study this week in the Journal of the American Medical Association found the weighted number of youths ages 6 to 24 visiting the ER for psychiatric illnesses, drug abuse, and alcohol addiction grew from 4.8 million to 7.5 million from 2011 to 2020. The study noted that visits for all types of mental illness significantly increased, but suicide-related visits spiked the most from 0.9% of all ER treatments in 2011 to 4.2% in 2020. That adds up to an average increase of 23.1% per year. And finally, in Thailand, a new generation of Chinese immigrants and tourists has been arriving. In 2019, Thailand was the most visited international destination by Chinese travelers, welcoming around 11 million tourists, over a quarter of the country's overseas arrivals, according to CNN Travel. The number has picked back up now that the COVID-19 pandemic has waned. The arriving Chinese are attracted by some of Thailand's less expensive hotels, apartments, and offices. Find all today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app. And find us wherever you get your podcasts. Just search Washington Times in any major podcast app. You can also find us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary, and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Grubo.